All right, hey there. The Dawn Trail trailer has finally fully dropped. This is everything now finally out. Uh, I've been watching FanFest and just kind of keeping up with things. And I wanted to just give, I guess, a, a general reaction to it. Getting a chance to look over it again and fully see everything in the trailer. And kind of give my thoughts as we go along. Probably just going to watch bits of it and, you know, comment now and then. Not usually my thing, this, but we'll give it a go. So, if I just get it started. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know how anyone can resist not just being hyped by something the music is so good. There's definitely a bit more together. It feels like there's more going on this time. Oh, blue seas, clear skies, and boundless possibilities. Definitely. <laughs> there's our boy. There's our other boy, the Vieira. He's probably the best looking character, other than Meteor, obviously. Man, I'm I'm hyped to see this this continent in full, man. It, it looks good. There's blue seas, these jungles, a proper forested area, and the Mulder. The Mulder actually looking like real beast tribes for once. Kind of cool, honestly. Is this Indian ever take a break? We're on holiday and this Indian is still just like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fight Godzilla. Hell with it. Okay, his uh, first bath in probably several months. I I could watch so many trailers that are just this Indian man. A full trailer of him just fighting that, I would I would love that. Maybe a fan animation or something will come out. Wouldn't be surprised. Where do we go? Where do we go? Ah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to try Viper, definitely. I know it's not everybody's thing. A lot of people kind of wanted uh, Corsair, but I think Dual Blades. That's cool. Very fun fantasy. Yeah, here's everyone. Everyone just kind of relaxing. And of course, the Warrior of Lights form of relaxation. Fighting the biggest guy we could find. Why not? Oh, that AF gear. I, I have no idea why this Nutkin. This Nutkin features so heavily. I don't get it. Is it just the Heaven's War joke of the Nutkin that covered uh, poor Thancred? Now it's getting in the way of his Riz. Oh, oh, no luck there, Thancred. Of course, it's his boy, of course. Really hoping they stick together as a team. I just, I love seeing them together. Da, 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 da. The single blade, one of the coolest fucking things that looking at blade. Hoping this is like a genuine fight we actually do in the game, some kind of trial fight or a story fight. That'd be great. And of course, the man with perhaps the most trauma would just want to chill, eat some food, catch some rays. I'm really surprised it was Pictomancer. I, I mean, I'm set on this channel. I genuinely thought it'd be Green Mage because of the uh, the symbol they showed in the story, but no, it's Pictomancer because of the uh, the Ninja Turtle shirt that Yoshi P wore as the clue. I wouldn't have guessed. It's cool though. I'm, I really like this paint aesthetic. It's really pretty. It's going to fit well with this kind of bright, hopeful expansion. Anything could happen. That's so good. So free.
It's going to be really nice to have the juxtaposition of this, this beautiful seas, these jungles, and then go into the kind of Wild West train area. There's our sun. You and your adventures. I trust you have not forgotten the true purpose of our voyage. Last we are come to the land you call the new world. Man, the lyrics really like you can where do we go? Where do we go? Our time to shine. Like it, it really feels like the warrior light is questioning what what are we doing? What do we do next? We can go anywhere. But this is this is it. This is our time, I guess, as Aeolians, as people of Ephesus, to to do something. No more, no more ancients. Yeah, that's a, it's a different trailer from the previous ones. They've always been very atmospheric. There's a lot going on. The big bad, none of that, none of that here. There's just exploration. Hope. I guess. I guess the big bad would be the kind of leader figure in Tural that I, I think king or prince, whoever, in this kind of rural rural succession fight going on. But it re really could go any way. I'm I'm excited, especially seeing some of the zones that they've showed this fan fest. I I have no idea what the end direction for this expansion is going to be. Normally, I kind of felt like. Really felt like I had an idea of the direction we were going. Sort of got it in Endwalker, really nailed it in Shadowbringers. I have no idea for Dawn Trail. But, well, there we go. That's that's the end of the trailer. I'm probably going to do a few more videos, cover a couple of other things, go into Female Hrothgar, look a bit more at Pictomancer maybe. Maybe just talk about the new the new zones they've showed off and give my thoughts on those. I've seen some kind of mixed opinions on them, so I really want to talk about them. But uh, let me know what you think. What did you think of the full trailer? Now we finally got it. Are you excited? Are you excited for Dawn Trail to see Tural North and South Tural? Didn't expect that. No way. No Merisidia. Shame, but nice to see just a focus on one kind of region, even if it is massive, truly massive. Let me know what you think. Throw, throw a comment down and you know I'll I'll answer you. We'll we'll have a conversation about this. I really want to see what other people think. But thanks for watching. Throw the like on the video if you like this, and I will see you in the next video.